In May, we will be doing a birdhouse block. You could have a light colored background or a dark colored background as long as you have adequate contrast. The top row will be your roof piece for your birdhouse. It uses one flying geese unit and then two side strips. Mark your four and three quarter inch background square corner to corner and then place right sides together and sew. Once you have sewn your seam, trim to one quarter inch, press your seam flat first, and then press your background piece out. Repeat for the other background square. You now have your flying geese unit. You just need to add your two strips to each side. You now have row one completed. The first thing you're going to do for row two is to sew on your heart applique. Make sure you sew it on in the correct position because the width of that background piece is six inches and the height is five and three quarters. You don't want to have that backwards or your heart will be sideways. The next thing will be to sew all of your little pieces together below that. Once your row of small pieces is sewn together, sew that to your applique piece and then also to the small piece at the bottom. I've already sewn my other two pieces together on the sides and then you will just add those and that will be your row two. And you're now done with row two. Rows three and four and then six, seven, and eight are all sewn in the same manner. You have the birdhouse fabric and then your background pieces. Just to make sure when you sew all the pieces together you put the right sizes together. It has to equal ten and a half inches unfinished for each strip. Row five is very straightforward. Just sew that together, press, and then you're ready to sew all of your rows together. You're now done with your birdhouse block.